we're now on to the building of the gearbox and uh, this was the bit that I was slightly nervous about because I uh, I'm new to buggies and I was a bit concerned that I'm not going to work out uh, quite how it all goes together there's no manual um, so I just figured therefore that it's going to be fairly straightforward and it pretty much is um, so what you get with the conversion kit is you get the gearbox already built so it comes like so and you would have seen that in my open box uh, kit preview if you haven't seen that check it out you get the the gearbox already built with the three bolts here that i've taken out so then you open it up and inside they are uh, there's the pins for the idler gears you don't get any of the bearings but you do get the bearings for the idler gears these bearings come in the standard cow 3 kit so um, the big bearings uh, that would be for the uh, gear diff they push into obviously fairly straightforward places i've built my gear diff and then i was trying to figure out where this fits obviously for those of you that are seasoned buggiers <laughs> it fits in here so this is at the end so th these are fairly snug fits which are which is obviously very nice snug fits in there so you want to use this gear i don't know what this is called uh push that in to locate the bearing um and a bit of brute force with the with the thumb pushing that in there just easy as you go um but it, it's a nice fit um as i say i've built my uh, gear diff I've pushed the bearings in and this is now ready to go. So from here, uh, I'm going to pop the idler gears in. So push, push the bearings into the gears. There you go, it seemed to go in a snug fit. They are a very snug fit. So uh, I had to just consult Yasser Mughal and uh, just make sure I was doing that right. But yeah, they were just a bit of a tight fit. So just a bit of brute force. And they all fit together very, very nicely. Got a sore thumb, fortunately, strong hands. So that's all of the idler gears on there. Then we're going to push the the ball diff, a uh, gear diff rather, in. That locates in nicely. And as you can see, that's a really really nice bit of kit there. Then we're going to push push this gear in, and there we are. There's the gearbox for the RF2 conversion. Then we're going to take the cover, push that on like so. Again, goes together very, very nicely. And then we're going to pop those bolts in. Now there's three different length bolts. I want to make sure I've got the right three in here. In fact, I am going to pop a little bit of Loctite on those. Gonna do that up tight just yet. That can stay out. <laughs> Make sure I put the right bolts in the right holes. Lovely. In there, and the final bolt.
not going to do them up. Just going to do them all individually and then do them up. Super. And there it is. Together very nicely. That goes in there like so. And then this pops on like so. Again, I've put another bearing inside there. So I guess, yep, that's that way there. Last thing you want are these bolts coming loose. Super. Wipe off any excess. And there we go. There's the chassis built. Let me now bring in the chassis. Like so. And then that's going to fit, sit on the back like so. the rear bolts out here in first and then the next one just popping Lock tight in as I go. There is nothing worse than a bolt missing on a new kit. Do those four up now. Fairly simple stuff. Always have this set on the low setting. I've got it on five torque. Uh, there we go, they're all on. Super. So that's the gearbox done. Hopefully that's given you some insight in how that goes together. But looking uh, a really nice bit of kit there. So 
that's the gearbox wheel speed gearbox conversion and uh, if you've liked this video click the like hit the bell so you don't miss another video